We're in Napoleonville, and it's one of the oldest settlements along Bayou Lafourche. As the Acadians were escaping genocide, they were dispersed all over the Atlantic. Now seriously, there's even a group that migrated to Brazil and the Falkland Islands. Now the largest contingent of these Acadian refugees to arrive in South Louisiana was also the last. They landed in New Orleans in 1785 and were basically given free reign to settle where they wanted. The vast majority of these Acadians would settle below the Islanos population near Mara de Pancaville. Now, a few years before the Acadians arrived, these Islanos people would settle along Baia Lafouche at a place below Donaldsonville called Valenzuela. As more people would settle along the bayou, the church nearby in Donaldsonville had reached capacity and then some. Not only did the Ascension Church service the large population of Donaldsonville and the nearby towns along the Mississippi River, but now it had to service the rapidly growing population of Bayou Lafouche. Don Nicholas Verret was appointed commandant of the post of Valenzuela and captain of the militia. Now behind these settlements exists a large lake and it was named after this guy. Lake Verrett still serves the area with outdoor entertainment, but the settlers petitioned Nicholas Verrett to ask the Spanish crown to build a new church, so he would go to Spanish colonial Governor Miro for assistance. Governor Miro asked the Spanish crown to make necessary grants available for the land for the church and to have one built. It was all carried out in 1793. A Spanish Capuchin friar named Bernardo de Deva was the first priest, and the first church of the Assumption was little more than a shack located at the site of the modern day church. More people would move to the area right when the sugarcane boom began. Large plantations began popping up facing the bayou, and slaves cultivated the enriched soil. Lake Verret provides a fast route to get to the Gulf of Mexico, but it wasn't connected to Bayou Lafouche. So it was clear that direct access to it would open the door for more economic opportunities. A canal was dug, linking the two bodies of water and the community developed near where the canal meets Bayou Lafouche. And this community was just known as Canal from as early as 1807. Naturally, when you have a community in a position of intersecting waterways, it's bound to grow and grow it did. Over the convening years, the population would swell. This is when a man steps in by the name of Pierre Charlotte. Pierre was born in Grenoble, France, and he had the distinguished pleasure of serving in Napoleon Bonaparte's Grand Armée. I've looked at several sources now and I couldn't find out why, but for whatever reason, this guy names the community. He would name it after his previous leader, Napoleon I, or AKA Napoleon Bonaparte, or the greatest general of all time, and thus Napoleonville was born. Come make a pass around the restaurants in the area on your next Louisiana road trip like Stella's. Now, we couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon. And we'd like to thank all of those who have already contributed. And we encourage anyone watching this video right now to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. For more history, horror, folklore, and culture of Louisiana, I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread.